For this lesson, I'm going to show you how to hit a chip from an uphill and downhill lie. Now, we learned how to hit a regular, just simple bump and run earlier, but we're just going to have to make a few adjustments here and there to pull this shot off. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to pick the right club for this shot. As you can see here, I have two different clubs. I have a 60 degree wedge and a 52 degree wedge. So for this downhill lie shot, since the ball is going to shoot out a little bit lower off, this, off the hill, I'm going to have to choose the club with more loft or else the ball, I won't be able to stop the ball with the 52 degree wedge. So I'm going to grab the 60 degree wedge, the one with more loft, and I'm going to go through a couple of things that you're going to have to do to hit this shot successful. First thing is you're going to have to adjust your setup a bit. So as you notice right here, my, feet are, my toes are pointed left of the ball and my feet are also pointed left of the ball. So I'm, I have an open stance here. And if you notice, I have a wider stance than I normally would. This is because it's easy to lose your balance on this downhill lie. So after I hit my chip, I don't want to lose my balance and fall over. So have a nice little wide base so that you're able to stay balanced throughout the shot. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choke down a little bit on my club to give me a little bit more control on this shot. You want to make sure that you pick the club up just a little bit because you don't want the club to get stuck on the grass behind the ball. And for the key point, you have to make sure that your shoulders are parallel to the slope because if they're not parallel to the slope, let's say I'm I'm acting as if this was a flat lie. What's going to happen is, is that my club will bottom out before I get to the ball and I'll end up hitting the ball, I'll end up hitting the club behind the ball and catching too much grass. So I have to make sure that my shoulder is parallel to the slope of the hill. So now let me show you how to hit this shot real quick. So now we're going to turn it around and show you how to hit the uphill shot. So now the uphill shot is going to be a little bit different than the downhill shot. First thing we're going to do is we're going to have to change our club. If you see here, I have my 52 degree wedge instead of my 60 degree wedge. Downhill shot, we hit it with our 60 degree wedge. The reason I'm doing that is because the 52 degree wedge is going to let the ball come out a little bit lower than the 60 would. And because we're on an uphill lie, depending on whether you're on an uphill or downhill lie, the ball is going to come out with a different trajectory and also different speed. So for an uphill lie, the ball will come out a little bit higher and a little bit softer than it would for a downhill lie. So I want to make sure that I make the club, I make the adjustment to the club so that I'm able to hit the shot successfully. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to change my, I'm going to make a couple of adjustments. As you can see here, my feet aren't as wide as they are for the downhill shot because it's easier to maintain your balance on the uphill shot as, as, rather than the downhill shot. Next thing is that if you notice, my, feet, my toes are pointed left of the ball and my feet are also pointed left of the target. This allows me to have an open stance just as it would for a downhill shot. Next thing is I'm going to choke down on the club just a little bit because it allows me to give me more control. If I'm, if I'm too far up, I'm not going to have as many, much control, so I'm going to choke down on it. Also, on the backswing, I want to make sure I stay nice and smooth as I take it back. You don't have to worry about picking the club up like you did on the downhill shot because there's nothing to get stuck back there. But if you're nice and smooth, your club won't get stuck as you're coming through as much. The most important thing is that you want to make sure that your shoulders are parallel to the slope line. If you can see here, if my, par my shoulders are parallel right here, it's going to allow me to come through the ball and finish through the ball. But say I'm acting as if this is a flat line, my shoulders angle is, uh, is flat right here. What's going to happen is that I'm going to come down too steep on the ball and I'm going to have the club get stuck as I come through because I'm not going to be able to finish here and it's going to come down at, at an angle that's not right for the slope. So I want to make sure that my shoulder angle is parallel to the slope and this will allow me to come right through and finish right through the shot and get right through the ball and make solid contact. So now I'm going to hit this chip for you. So that's how you're going to hit an uphill and downhill chip shot.